What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are covering Mindbender's Ambition and we are also talking about the Adept version because it is the weapon for the weekly Grandmaster Nightfalls. Now this week's Grandmaster Nightfall is the old Mars heist battlegrounds and it is very difficult. Um, I could not even optimize a build for it, but we did get it done and I highly recommend that at least one or two of you actually use the hunter on the void subclass that way you are able to use invisibility it's what helped us in that last boss fight but the last boss room really isn't that bad because you are able to kind of cheese the boss and stand on those pillars but the rest of the i don't really want to call it a strike but the rest of the battleground itself is very difficult there are a lot of enemies a lot of um, open areas for the enemies to fight in so there's a lot of different builds that i tried to use that i couldn't really get the momentum going so to speak but all in all we were able to actually complete this grandmaster nightfall and it wasn't that bad it just took a few tries to actually get the hang of it and uh, first and foremost one of the biggest things that you're going to realize when you're actually attempting this is you don't always need the go to you know well there are a lot of different other options we did use invis hunters you, of course you can use strand there's a lot of other options as well so if it's taking you a couple of tries or a long time to actually complete this don't give up you will be able to do it and for my run i actually had the lfg so it was a little bit more difficult given the fact that a lot of people don't use a mic or communicate on lfg so it does take some time to actually find the right teammates that you're using now if you have solid players that you always play with and you guys are able to communicate a lot better than going through a lfg then you should have no problem completing this nightfall at all now there are some tips and tricks and some other videos out there i know i didn't create no guide for this week's nightfall but it's pretty straightforward it is a heist battleground you do have to complete the objectives the hardest part with this whole grandmaster nightfall battleground situation is the fact that the enemy density is so severe it is very it can get overwhelming at times so you definitely have to pay attention and definitely work with your team now upon completing this grandmaster nightfall you will acquire the revamped version of mindbender's ambition the adept version and i will say it does not live up to the og mindbender's um the original mindbender's ambition inside of a crucible was just slapping people it was at one time the best shotgun in the game especially for pvp and unfortunately it just does not do that anymore with all the big changes that have come about with shotguns and you'll see in the background gameplay i actually tried to play with it as if it was back in the past like if this was the og mind benders and you'll see as times where i'll actually whiff with the shotgun or i won't get the kill or there'll be some form of lag or something of that nature also too i feel like the weapon is a lot more sluggish than it used to be but that could just be me i, I don't really play with shotguns as much as i used to and like I said previously, unfortunately, this gun just does not perform like the OG used to. And it does show when you look at um, D2 Foundry or you look at Light GG, it has awful, awful ratings. And it performs as such, especially when you have this weapon competing with Imperial Decree because they are the same archetype. They're both aggressive frames. Um, Imperial Decree is craftable, so you can get enhanced traits. Now, I mainly wanted to complete this Grandmaster Nightfall as a personal challenge, and I also wanted to get a Mindbender's Ambition Adept version, and it was nice to actually accomplish it. I didn't get too bad of a roll. Now, if you are going for PvP, um, it's kind of hard to say because the, the weapon just sucks inside of PvP, and I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. The weapon is not that good in PvP. You can make it work. But if you were absolutely just like, oh my god, I gotta give mine benders ambition, I would go for small bore, assault mag, or acarized rounds, threat detector, or snapshot, and then probably incandescent. Um, the perks here are just terrible. They're awful. They don't go good with the weapon, and you will have to be in about that two meter range just to get the consistent kill. If you're at like the three to five, I've noticed where my gun, well, the shotgun will just um, whiff constantly you won't get the kill you'll get like half health and pretty much at that point you've um, wasted your ammo you pretty much have to use two shots and that's unfortunate you know i tried to play a little aggressive with it but um it just does not have that handling speed compared to some of the other shotguns like the lightweight frames so it does feel a little sluggish and personally with how difficult the grandmaster is this week i really don't recommend grinding for it like that unless you just absolutely want the weapon 
Now you can hear the disappointment in my voice as I go over the PVP roll that I actually recommend. But like I said, this weapon is not worth grinding. Now when we go to PVE, there are some interesting options, but at this point, slug shotguns have pretty much taken over the realm of PVE just because of the certain the amount of damage that they do compared to the pellet shotguns but if i had to go for pve i would still stick with small bore i'd probably go with appended mag or tactical mag threat detector all day long and then you have swashbuckler you also have incandescent and then you have the interesting one one two punch which got nerfed into the ground whereas the damage only lasts a second what am i going to do with that i can't really make that work um and it shows and that's why there's such poor ratings with this weapon um if you want to know personally the role i got was small bore assault mag threat detector and one two punch and i could not get one two punch to work worth a damn i would sit there and pretty much just try to make it work and go for those uh higher damage hits and stuff i was trying to use a powered melee but then you know with the powered melee you only get 40 percent damage increase whereas an uncharged melee hit is actually a hundred percent increase so it's really not even worth using this shotgun at all especially when you have the likes of Ganora's axe and you have all these other beautiful options especially with the slugs um they do so much damage compared to these pellet shotguns and you know like i said mindbender had its time back when forsaken was released and it was dominant for three years or so two to three years it was on top for shotgun usage and um you know of course a lot of people had one and then when Mindbender's Ambition re-released in the previous seasons, you know, everybody was hoping that it would be good. But with all the recent changes and the major hits to shotgun as a whole, they just don't line up. Especially when you have like fusion rifles and all of these other weapons now. You have the SMGs, they're pretty much on top when it comes to close quarters. And shotguns just really cannot compete. And you know this weapon does have one of the other interesting perks with um fragile focus and that's even a hard one because if you take any speck of damage whatsoever you don't even get the benefit of that perk so you really have to be very cautious with how you move and the only role well the role that you see in the background gameplay is the only role i got because this was the only time i was going to do this um, nightfall me personally i'm not really into the battlegrounds um, as far as going to like uh, the strike playlist or anything like that um, I can almost bet that maybe next season we'll probably have some defiant battleground strike that will be in the uh, grandmaster rotation or actually move to the strike rotation and um, I can only imagine how that will be come next season or the season after it just depends um how bungie decides to do it but i'm almost positive that it will happen especially since it happened this season so that's mind bender's ambition for you guys um can you let me know in the comments down below what you think of this weapon do you like it uh, apparently a lot of people hate it i hate it i don't like it no more it's a beautiful weapon i will keep it as a collectible you know just to uh have it you know but i'm not gonna waste my uh nightfall ciphers on another copy of this that's for sure now this upcoming week we will have the hypernet grandmaster and i do plan on doing a guide with this um i didn't do a guide with the mars battleground just because i have issues with them just like i said adding battlegrounds to strikes the main one being those are so much more updated compared to our current strikes so the way they play is a lot different compared to actual strikes and sometimes I was getting issues with the uh, enemies actually glitching and going different places and certain aspects of the battleground not working properly. And it was just a pain in the ass. And I did it one time. Of course, we had some failures, but I had one complete completion and that was it. I bounced. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're looking for tips or tricks, hunters are very dominant inside of that. Um, you can go in viz. You could skip the enemy um, lasers if you go invis. Um, I had success with that. I think a couple of other players also had success with that. But I was being told too that some players were actually dying. And those are the inconsistencies that I was talking about with the uh, heist battlegrounds being actually added to strikes. Now for a fast recap of this weapon for PVE, you're gonna want small bore or you can go with corkscrew rifling. And then for the second column, you're gonna want assault mag, tactical mag, or appended mag. 
And then for that third column, you're gonna want Threat Detector because we get a bump in stability, handling, and reload speed when you're near enemies, which are always gonna be near enemies in PVE when you are using a shotgun. And then for that final trait column, you can go with Incandescent if you do like explosions, but I highly recommend Swashbuckler just because you can get a damage buff with a melee kill or a weapon kill, and it does stack up to five times. Now for PVP, you're gonna go with Small Bore, Acarized Rounds, or Assault Mag. Either one will do. And then I highly recommend Snapshot Sights just in case you are aiming down sights. I do not recommend anything else. If I had to give an honorable mention, it would go to Surplus or Slideways. And for that final trait column, you're gonna go with Fragile Focus. And that is easy to get that range bump when you're using a Hunter because all you gotta do is go Invis and then sneak up on your enemies. If you use any other class with Fragile Focus, if you take any bit of damage, the perk will not proc for you, so keep that in mind. And then also we have Incandescent, which just gives you fiery explosions, and that's really not that beneficial inside of PvP, but I digress. Um, I like it, it's fun to use. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with just making your enemies explode here or there. The weapon's already not that great anyways. And like I said, here in the final ratings right now, um, is rated two in, uh, PVE and it is rated a zero in the crucible now if you enjoyed this content don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to my channel I do videos roughly about three to four uploads a week I want to continue that trend so definitely keep a lookout on my channel um, I'll have a lot of interesting stuff coming out here soon I will have some more builds so don't worry about that I still am working on the bow video I know I've been talking about it for a long time hierarchy of needs has been running from me for far too long now and we will get it i promise you and from there we will go over our final um part two for our bow breakdown and you know i was thinking about just doing a like build guide for like wish ender i know i got a lot of wish ender fans from my original bow video so i definitely want to go over that but i also have some spicy legendaries too that can really compete with some of the exotic bows so Definitely stay tuned for that. And this week we will be going over the additional Grandmaster um, Adept Wendigo should be dropping. We should have an uh, updated perk pool list too as well. So definitely stick around for that. We will be reviewing that weapon. As always, we will be doing a HyperNet guide, especially since it's a brand new strike this season. So we will be doing that as well. I hope you even liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. It's a free way to support me. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in the next video.